is Mount Nebo. Mount Tempanagos is almost that tall, and I am flipping shit right now. <laughs> guys, look at that. Ugh. All right, guys, it's pretty hazy, but I'm pretty sure that one is Mount Tempanagos. It's so big. the Mount Tempanagos campground and we've already set up the tent Jeremy's just doing the finishing touch this is a nice campground the campground hosts are really 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 nice almost too nice yeah, suspiciously nice this is our campsite so it's over here we've got this blank area that you can put a tent in but we have a truck tent so we just have this big empty space for whatever here's the fire pit a little charcoal grill a really really big picnic table we're happy with it the truck fits perfectly in its spot I'll go show you the bottom but yeah our campsite is back there tucked away behind the truck so we dig it it's nice are you having difficulties I'll take that as a yeah what's it to you what's it to you I got it Yay! That part's a pain in the butt, but I don't help him because I don't want to accidentally move the tailgate and crush his fingers. So I let him do that part by himself. Oh, is that right? Is that why? Correct. I don't believe it. You think I just don't want to help you? Yes. Wow. <laughs> I'm honestly so nervous about tomorrow's hike, but Jeremy keeps saying, look, we're just going to do what we can do. We're going to pace ourselves. <laughs> But I'm still nervous. It's just, it's really tall. It's like 11,000 something feet in the air. And that little shack on top is almost not visible. We'll see what happens. We're gonna try and we're gonna wake up mad early to get to that trailhead. How did this bag get so heavy? I've taken this out. Oh my God, we did have the binoculars the whole time. Oh my God, what the f You're the one that put them in there. Snack preparation time. And I'm just gonna be 100% real with you guys. I've just been eating meat the entire time we've been on this trip. We got complete cookies. I got, for me, some honey roasted cashews. Jeremy and I both got a pack of these. Wisps, Asiago, and Pepper Jack. Jeremy got himself some goldfish. Jeremy wanted to try every flavor of these fatty sticks. We got teriyaki, honey barbecue, oh, and the original. Two other purchases from REI today. Jeremy kept talking about how much he likes his smart wool socks, so I got some for me too. I'm actually gonna wear them tonight to keep my feet warm. We did break down and buy one of these bear spray can holsters so that we don't have to worry about the complicated Velcro setup because like we wanted to save money and we were being stubborn, but this is gonna work better, I think. All right. We're gonna organize all this stuff now, and I'm gonna shut you off so that I have more memory space for tomorrow's hike. It's like probably 9.15 right now. We gotta wake up really early. So I'm gonna write my journal entry, and then I'm gonna go night night. See you in the morning. On our way to the trailhead. 
It's currently 3.39 in the morning. The campground has these spikes that you can drive over when you're leaving, but you can't get back through until I don't know what time. <laughs> cool. We still have tires. That's good. So the Aspen Trailhead, I think we just passed it. Yeah, that was it. But we're driving forward to the Timpaniki one because all trails says it's easier. So we arrived at the trailhead. It is 4.14 and there's a ton of people here. <laughs> Camera doesn't do well picking up LED. <laughs> your other waters on your back? Yeah. Okay. And then can I just have you put my strap my camera? Alright, time to find the trailhead. whisper to you guys because I don't want to piss off the people behind me but we got here just in time they're running out of parking spots actually they're out it's wild it's like only 4.30 or something and it's already full <laughs> so we ended up just filling out our America the Beautiful pass information for this instead of paying the fee let's start after them so we can see where to go <laughs> Oh, that's pretty convenient. Right. <laughs> All right. We'll be their caboose. Summit is 7.2 miles. Okay. Sorry about Georgie's shadow. <laughs> Makes it kind of hard to see. <sighs> we just took a sharp right where it looked like we could have gone straight, but you're supposed to take a right. That's the pro of having a group in front of you. <laughs> this is cool. Another waterfall. Wow. We're about to get a pretty sunrise. <laughs> so we're taking another sharp right because a group just came from that way saying that that way is like not the trail. They were like, hey guys, where's the trail? So we're gonna go this way. Snack time. <laughs> yeah, is it the basin? Basin, yeah. Oh, that's what I mean, yeah. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh, no, you're good. You don't have to run. It's all right. I'll catch up to them. It's a long hike, so. <laughs> <laughs> stop a lot.
know about you, but I think I'm glad that we skipped arches to do this. No offense, arches. We'll see you one day. Ooh, it is really chilly right here. Wow, just dropped like five degrees. I wanna give them one more view of this meadow. I think this is only the first meadow, just so you know. Wow, this is like really nice. Dreamy. Dreamy. Very dreamy. We should get us a backpacking tent. So. To think that we started somewhere down there. It's pretty wild. disoriented with the uh, direction changing and the sun, the lighting of the sun changing and stuff so my eyes aren't really adjusted yet so I'm using a pole now. A panic attack about there. I've never had a panic attack like that before. That was crazy. You've never been 10,000 feet or higher before. You've never been in an airplane. <laughs> oh man. All right, folks, we're getting there. I feel better now. Yep. It'd be a nice place to camp out.
shall keep trying. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Ten thousand five hundred and fifty eight feet in the sky. So now we're going It's basically like Slot Canyon, but without the other wall. And you're up high. Not down low. We made it up through that. So we go up this way instead. Ow, these are poking me. Oh man, you got the whole camera ready and everything. Oh yeah. Now you're ready. Oh yeah. The A6000 or? Is it the it's the, the A7C. One? It's actually newer than the A7 III. That's right, that's right, that's right. That's the A6000 bought steroids now. Yeah. Hello. Hey there. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. This is sketchy. Sketchy. Sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. I have to hold on to the wall because that's how much footing you have here. And I'm gonna turn back and you can see where Jen's at. Looks like she's at the same spot. Um, maybe she went back down. I don't know. Alright. Oh jeez. Yep. It's the same as going up. Just don't look where you shouldn't look. And look at where you want to place your hands and your feet. Yeah. I think we got through the rough patch. I fucking hope so. I don't know about that. Just keeps getting taller and taller. 
They say you should know your limits. And unfortunately, I think this is our limit. At least it's mine. But we made it all the way up here. Yeah, I'm apparently deathly afraid of heights. That's the peak. So close. We were gonna try to make it to the saddle up there, but... That's the saddle. I so close. Even. This is the end of the line. I mean, we've still come way farther than what we've ever done. Yeah. So, I'm pretty impressed. How many miles is it left before the peak so we know how many miles we did? Or maybe two miles. So, maybe, maybe 13 miles total when we get back to the truck? Yeah. I would say that's about right. Because yeah. they say when you get to the saddle, it's like another mile to the summit. All right. But there's people all the way up there. Oh, man. Props to you guys. This is our third hike of the week, so. Yes. I'll be honest, I cried at a couple points down there and it's... couldn't breathe. <laughs> it's uh, not for the people that are afraid of heights, that's for sure. Not at all, but. Since we're leaving now, we can take our sweet time getting down this really steep part. Yeah, we we'll climbed that mountain <laughs> to get to this mountain. Huh. And we had to climb another mountain. Are you sure? You yep. won't regret this? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Sorry if I look burnt and dusty, it's because I am burnt and dusty. I'm gonna attempt making our dinner. It's not hard. I'm just gonna boil water so that we can use our REI packet meals. Um, let's talk about that hike real quick while I'm getting this stuff set up. Everybody in the comments on all trails made it seem like it wasn't that bad. A lot of people were like, ooh, it was a good technical run, which we saw a bunch of people running on that hike and near mile five i had a damn panic attack i couldn't breathe and i was crying and i felt super dramatic i don't know if it was the elevation change or i, I don't really know i think it was the heights i didn't know i was that afraid of heights but there were a lot of parts on the trail that we had to go on where there was like this much before a steep drop and we had to literally cling onto the rock walls in order not to fall. Oh, guys. It freaked me out. But, I mean, I bet there are a lot of people that think that hike's not so bad. Well, I'm happy for you. That is not the case for me. Okay, change of plans. We're just having ham, turkey, and cheese sandwiches because... It's really hard to get to the camp stove at the moment because there's just so much stuff that got misplaced in our truck. So I'm going to make those and then I'm going to organize the truck. See you tomorrow, which for you isn't going to be tomorrow. Okay, bye. So it's the next morning. We're on our way now to go get our truck serviced for oil. And hopefully they can tell if there's anything else wrong with it that we need to fix before we move on. Uh, we're gonna also try to drive to Oregon today, so 
fingers crossed. Uh, and we're also gonna try to find a hotel for Oregon because we need a damn shower. Me stinky. Yeah, that hike was uh, brutal. Thanks down there, wipes. <laughs> they work. They work. <laughs> they clean your body and your soul. Yes. <laughs> Good talk. Um, we're gonna go get our truck serviced. Then we're gonna go get more ice for our cooler. And then we're gonna try to hit the road. Okay. Oil's been changed. Tires have been rotated. Uh, Bellies have been fed. Bellies have been fed. Cooler's been restocked. Cooler's been restocked. Gas has been put in. Yes. Ready. We're currently on our way to the Salt Flats. <coughs> the hotel's been booked. Oh yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. We're on our way to the Bonville Salt Flats, which um, the spot that we're going is just the rest area that's on it, but you can still go out and walk on it from the rest area, it's I not think. not just a rest area, it's the rest area. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna do that, and then our plans have changed a little bit for... This has just been the theme of the... the theme of the trip, this plan's changing, but it's been working out fine so far. What was I gonna say? Our plans have changed. Well, we were originally going to go to a dispersed campground in Oregon, but they've got a lot of wildfires going on right now. And Look, they... it's a miniature George Washington head. And Abe Lincoln. And Abe Lincoln. And Jefferson. And, uh, Look at that. Teddy. We didn't even have to go to the Midwest to see that little we kind of are, but we didn't even have to go there to see it. We saw a miniature one. Good enough for me. Check. Oh my god. That was intense. Check. <laughs> Originally we were going to go to a dispersed campground in Oregon, however, the area over there has a lot of wildfires, so it didn't seem like a smart idea. We are still going to try to go to Crater Lake tomorrow on our way to Beverly Beach Campground, which is at the beach in Oregon. It's, it's really just a state park that has campsites. But what was I going to say? Uh, now, instead of staying we're going around our ass to get to our elbow. We're spending tonight in a hotel in Boise, Idaho. He Boise. Keeps, he keeps calling it Boise. In Boise. Comment below. We really desperately need a shower and just to freshen up because yesterday it took a toll on us. Uh, 13 miles, y'all. Yeah, 13 miles. 13 miles, miles 3,000 feet. Of elevation gain. I'm done. So, would have been 4,000 something, but we did not want to go on the top. It literally looked like this. Look, Someone's it's a parachute. parasailing. Yeah, that's a straight up parachute. Where are they parrot? I guess they're parachuting. Oh, that's fun. They're parachuting off of the thing. When I get closer, I'll show you, because you can't see with this lens. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, we're passing near Salt Lake City right now. Windmills. That's the thing around here is windmills. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, it's been super hazy here, and some people here seem to think that it's really hazy due to the Dixie Forest fire in California. But I've also seen that sometimes the air quality in Salt Lake City isn't that great because the mountains kind of trap in whatever pollutants get in the air and stuff like that so sometimes it can be hazy kind of like LA. We've had an interesting time here. The campground attendant or the host was super nice. She made our life a lot easier yeah. over the past Shout couple days. Shout out to Pam. Thank you Pam. Uh, I don't know if Pam's ever gonna see this but thank you Pam. We met some cool people on our hike yesterday. We talked to a lot of people. That's one thing that I love about hikes is the people that you talk to it's always a nice conversation. Shout out to y'all if y'all see this. Um, one of you might, because one of you actually looked at my channel, so thank you. Shout um, out to that guy. Yeah, I'm sorry we never learned your name. But you know ours. Yeah. Now, maybe. Man, I felt like a big baby on yesterday's hike. But, uh, you weren't even going to deny it. I was a big, big baby. I big baby. <laughs> that was a hard hike from a North Carolina person. I'm used to tiny mountains. They're not tiny, but they're not 
this big. They're not that big. So yeah, we're we're headed to Idaho so we can go to Oregon after. Who the hell? It's kind of weird, but. Who the hell? The goal is to go to Crater Lake tomorrow and then ride through Eugene into Newport and stay at our Beverly Beach State Park campsite. Who the hell? That was um a mouthful. Who the hell? Who the hell? We're gonna go to the Salt Flat soon, so I'm gonna try to get some footage of the Great Salt Lake and the Bonneville Salt Flat. Whatever you see after that's gonna be on our way to Boise. Boise. Six hundred and twenty-two point four six seven miles per hour. Oh, the part out here is cool though, because it has the pattern. Oh yeah. The evaporation pattern. So we're just gonna take a few pictures and then leave. I guess. <laughs> I don't know if I like living in the salt box. <laughs> Your problems doesn't make it all right. This will be your last chance. What you gonna do now? storms away and says, it's too hot for this shit. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, buy salt flat. That was cool. A lot of people have just come out here for pictures like we did. You wanna know why I'm mad? Cause I'm salty. <laughs> I can barely walk after yesterday's hike. Where did this come from? 
dude. Howdy folks, we're at our hotel in Boise, Idaho. <laughs> We're about to just take showers and make ourselves less gross. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> We're at a gas station in Idaho. Boise to be exact. We're about to head to Crater Lake. We just had continental breakfast. Quick note about getting a hotel room. If it's only like $5 more to get the suite, just do it. At first I told Jeremy, I was like, since it's just one night, we can just get a regular room. But it was only $5 more to get the suite. And you just have more room, you have more, you have a like, I don't know if this is the case for every hotel, but we had a refrigerator. Everything just is a little bit nicer in the suite. And I think that's where some of the new stuff goes first. So like whenever they replace things, I have a feeling the suites get more attention <laughs> because they're more expensive. But it, worked out better and it was another best western plus no complaints there that was nice we're gonna go to crater lake hopefully we get some type of view today unfortunately there's a lot of wildfires in the umquid national forest in oregon so it's possible that we're gonna be pretty smoked out with our views 73 dollars in the tank my dude gas is expensive out here the most expensive gas that we've seen is not even not even at a national park it was like an hour maybe more outside of zion and it was 409 even here in idaho i've seen it it's crazy what's going on guys can someone tell me what's going on 